The judicious selection of fighting equipment should never be done based on your emotions or your identity or how you feel about a piece of kit. If your feelings are involved in any way in your selection of your tools, that tells us a lot about you. Babies, cry me a freaking river. <laughs> Rex doesn't like my tool. I'll tell you something, ma'am. There is no crowd worse than the Rambo survival military skills crowd. It's emoting over equipment. Emoting over a tool. Rifle tip 002. If you follow us on Patreon, where we do rifle tips, 002. It's a tool, man. It's like a tool. How many times, like, do you see guys who are on a roofing job <laughs> emoting over their hammers? Ox tools is, is, is way better than the Ivy Classic to solid steel singler's hammer. Just, yours is stupid. I mean, it's like, a, it's a very revealing. Who emotes over kit? Who emotes, gets emotional over tools? Teenagers. You drive, you, you drive a Ford, you're stupid. Ford versus Chevy versus Mopar. I remember those days. I remember being a teenager. I even thought it was dumb back then. I thought it was hilarious when the guy took a Toyota and put a Chevy motor in it with Dodge, whatever, you know, brakes on it. Like, huh? Or an axle off a Nissan. There, now what are you going to emote on? You're Frankenstein, it! Emoting over tools. So dig this. I recently did a video talking about a tool! A night observation device that's cheap and can see better than other tools in certain contexts. And if you'd read the comments, hilarious. You guys should go back and watch that video. Read the comments. In fact, those comment sections... I often reserve for training purposes on my Patreon channel where we make fun of bearded babies. Huge beard. Rrr, tactical. Huge, awesome beard. Really, really loud about how many times they watched, I don't know, Zero Dark Thirty. There you go. And they pause the movie to get the same tattoo as the seal. Like, see? That's me. Emoting. Because Rex is showing a night observation device that is not the one that they identify as. You know, you guys have the same malfunction as those people that identify as stuff. You have the same exact malfunction. If, you're, if your ego and your id and who you are and the core of your soul is attached to what you bought at a store, you're, you're not a man, you're not an adult, yet you're not a functioning adult bearded baby wah, wah, wah. crying just wait until they see our huge ginormous 30 round bullet clips with huge pokes on them from fucking texas the stupid that's uh, you don't even like the you don't even like the pulsar thermal like i don't like it first off i love it I don't just like it. I love my Pulsar. Um, but, you know, when you're doing comparative analysis of a tool's applicability to certain conditions, like has absolutely nothing to do with the question. Like has nothing to do with it. Math is a blade that cuts through the bullshit. You guys going to emote over the electromagnetic spectrum now in which sensors can see which bandwidths they're in? You're going to emote because someone in, in Japan invented a sensor that can see really good in the dark that happens to be really cheap because it also overlaps with a different industry that where the stuff is like very, very commonly used in other stuff. And therefore, the price is like a fraction of the expensive stuff and works better in some environments. You're going to emote over that. You just, you know, look like I should just film these guys. You ever see that... Uh, what was it, the pissed German kid video where he's just slamming his keyboard down into the table? Stop 
and screaming obscenities in German because he's losing his Nintendo game. That's you guys. When you're watching a Rex video. Yeah, guys, just fucking fruit. Just lose. How could you possibly have your day ruined by Rex saying, Hey, guys, Rex here. Here's a picture of the Arkansas 5 to 20 digital day night scope next which is only like $500 next to a $5000 thermal unit amazing this cheap one in a low contrast environment works better than the expensive one it's not my fault <laughs> you get emotional reading through the comments man rex this apples and oranges you can't compare those i know it is apples and oranges, isn't it? Digital day-night scopes have complete different design, different capabilities than a thermal site. That is part of what they call, and you guys should buy this thing called Webster's Dictionary, my demonstration. Rex's demonstration, where I demonstrate the different applicabilities of different tools and how they overlap in your overall system. I'm saying this thing works incredibly well in a diversity of environments. This one works great until you have a low thermal contrast environment and then you can't see nothing. And, well, you probably just waited. And you, sure, of course you filmed when you couldn't even see nothing. Why are you emotional? Why are you emotional about the electromagnetic spectrum and how infrared rays emit off of stuff with different emissivity? And that the sensor and the design is a little bit different. And that when it's everything's even temperature, you can't see the contrast depending on how it's set up. Why are you emotional about that? It's absurd to an adult. I've seen this in every category, especially it's terrible in the quote unquote gun industry. I'm wearing the same underpants as the air to surface nuclear marines wear. How about that, sucker? Freaking babies emoting over your tools. My pistol's cooler than yours. No, -uh, my Uzi's better. I got you. No, you didn't. I remember playing Red Dawn with my cousins where we argued about who had the cooler, you know. You know, actually, we didn't even... Argue. We're too busy fighting the Russians. Running around the railroad tracks at, like, one in the morning with all our, like, face paint on, like, trying to kill the Russians with their plastic Uzis. And just because uh, the private over here had a Mac 10, you know, in the 80s, like the really heavy-duty toy Uzis, or not a Uzi, but a Mac 10. You don't even know the difference between an Uzi and a Mac 10! And I had the O3 Springfield, you know, the wood and metal one with the, with the projectile on there. It looks like you're really loading it. And then what did the captain have? I think he had a Mauser broom handle. It was like a modified uh, Han Solo thing that was painted black. So it looked like a, like a, you know what I mean? Emoting. Emoting over. We didn't even do that as kids. Unbelievable. Tell you something, if you guys have questions on the use and selection of said equipment that I'm trying to just show you, hey guys, here's a different kind of tool for pulling nails. You can just pinch it like this and the arm is the pincher and you rock it and it pulls right out. Guess it's not even as good as my, my claw, I can do that, my claw hammer. Okay, then go do it with your claw hammer, man. I can do it with a mallet. I got a vice grip, Rex. What president let all the cuckoos out of the cuckoo farm and just turned them loose into the streets and then they probably all reproduced and made a bunch of freaking bearded babies and fed them a steady diet of television cartoons and then at school told them that you're somebody special. And so now they pipe in with their expertise on war fighting. None of them been in a war. Dude, how about this one? Rex, you're, it's not even, you can't, you, you're going to use that in combat, Rex. You tell me you're going to just turn on your IR illuminator in combat. Like, dude, when's the last, you know, I was talking to my bro, Saw. If you don't know who that is, you can go check him out. Laughing his ass off at your guys' comments. Like, I never 
fought a first world enemy with night vision. But how many times have you done that? Is do you, in your mind, do you think you just turn on your IR illuminator and just walk around like on just shining everywhere? If that's the way you think that stuff is employed, you're only revealing your lack, incredible lack of experience. All the privates coming out of, what is it, basic training now? Like even probably the water purification specialists. I think they train on night vision and basic now, don't they? Basic training? I know the infantry does. That's what I heard. We never had night vision when I was in basic training. It was the old A2. You know what I mean? Like... But um, I bet you even the privates now, the 17-year-old privates are just laughing their asses off reading your guys' comments about, like, you can't just turn on infrared in combat. What the heck? They use it. They've been using it for 20 years. The world's changed, Rex. You know, the like the Chinese and the Iranians. and I'm not going to listen to this. I'm not going to hear you now. I'm not going to listen to this. I'm not going to hear you now. Rambo is good. Rambo is our pal. You guys need to calm down on that stuff. You need to lay off the wacky tobacco too. If you get that emotional over tool selection, man. I see it in precision rifle circles. Guys, callus is better than Vortex. Vortex is stupid. No, uh -uh. Real snappers use whirlwind scopes. I heard from my uncle who's a Marine. All those years where it was kind of an inside joke, where I would make a little bit of fun of super popular scope companies, I have Vortex scopes too. I also have them. I just think I'm hating on them. I'm not. You're just acting like an emotional girl because someone's not excited about your kit. It's like the kid that walks out there. Hey, guys. See what I got? I'm like, what? We're at the gun range. We're practicing. Did you see? See what? Look, I got new scope mount. It's way better than the normal ones. Good job. You hit click on a freaking buy now button on whateverbroker.com. Good job. Hmm? Do you want, um, do you want um, a banana sticker? Because you bought a cool piece of kit? This is what the this is what the Marines used, Rex. <laughs> I heard I heard that the Marine Marines deploy with this pen, and they can stab people in the face with this pen. Am I just gonna go out and buy that that exact model pen and then just emote when I see someone with a bic? You can't. I see you don't even have a you don't even have the same kind of pen. You can't even start a fire with that pen. Bic is stupid. You don't even know nothing about the field, man. Peanut brain syndrome is rampant in the United States of America 2024. And these guys think they're going to go and fight off the Martians and fight off the, the space aliens and fight off the, the United States, whatever. Okay. I'm just going to, I'm just going to be growing my garden still. You can't even use that for tactical combat operations, Rex. Because it's not what the Marines have. I'm not in a tactical combat operation. I'm in a farmstead where there are night creatures which try to destroy my farmstead. So then I shoot the night creatures. That's my 99.999999% context. And I think it's the same for a lot of you. And you get emotional. Or you don't even probably like the. You can't compare that to the PVS-14, Rex. I wasn't comparing, I was using the PBS-14 as a scientific baseline because people are familiar with generally how well you can see with the PBS-14, whatever, Gen 3, whatever the hell it was that I used, okay? He doesn't even like it. Like has nothing to do with it. It's a tool. It's a tool. Are you going to put the shingles down on the roof or are you going to keep looking at your neighbor's tool belt and just getting bent out of shape? Unbelievable. You guys crack me up. Freaking hilarious. Should I read some of the questions? There were some good questions on the video I did. Now, for I'll leave the reference video in the link below and maybe in the comments. It is titled, Which Can See Better in the Dark? Uh, the $649 Arkan Zulus is actually way cheaper than that if you use code REX. So as a ruthless freaking capitalist, which is just terrible nowadays because you guys all turn communist now, REX... You're supposed to work for free, Rex. 
The only reason you're showing this stuff on the computer is so you can get money. Um, you walk into the freaking Outback Steakhouse and then smell the delicious steak and order one. And then the lady brings you the bill. You only made me a steak for money. Go live under Ceausescu. Oh, he got shot. I'm sorry. What's the um? What's your favorite communist dictator where that system worked out really good for you? Where you emote over capitalism? But if you use code Rex, you can get like hundreds of dollars off or something. It's like it's five five hundred dollars then. Okay. So uh, which can see better in the dark? The six hundred forty nine dollar Arc and Zulus versus the five thousand dollar Thermal Night Vision. And in the video, I just do a side by side comparison. I did not jimmy with the videos. I did not edit the settings to like bring the contrast up. I set both scopes and adjusted them to see as clearly as possible. I didn't look on the weather radar to select the perfect night where there would be a huge difference between the two. I just literally was like, I wonder how this compares to this other one. I wonder how this new extremely cheap digital night vision com that's cheap compares to like a five thousand my thousand. My $5,000 unit, by the way, which I've used to fill garbage dumpsters full of varmints. I've shot so much stuff with that thing. The thermal. The one that you guys think that Rex doesn't love anymore. <laughs> All right. You can watch the video and I do some comparisons. Let's see. There's some good. Uh, there was actually a couple good questions in here. Oh, so bear with me, gentlemen. Okay. So from, uh, I won't say the name because this is a good question. Um, spiritual, also the name, spiritual astronomy, question, Rex, I don't understand if the IR illuminator is necessary for the digital to work properly. Um, the IR illuminator on any kind of system that's not like passive, right, is, I mean, you have passive mode on the Arkans, so you can turn it off. If you got moonlight, especially in the snow, you can see really good in the dark with zero IR illumination with the, any, I mean, PVS-14 or the Arkan. Same deal, right? Um, where you need illumination is where it's like pitch black. And here it gets very dark because there's no towns or cities anywhere. I don't even have neighbors anywhere within sight. On the horizon, there's some neighbors' lights like miles and miles away. Otherwise, it got no lighting. So when it's dark, it's dark. So an IR illuminator, yes, you're going to want that when it is pitch black. But if there's any kind of ambient light, it sees really, really, really well. Um through like dusk and into when it's too dark to see through naked eyes you're going to see way better and then if you turn that sucker on it'll boom light it up like a spotlight but it's not visible to just the naked eye right also how do the night vision devices detect and see others infrared illuminators or lasers so the arc and zulu site turned on the d-ball the steiner d-ball illuminator it's absolutely is compatible same same uh range okay same ir range what it's looking for and so you turn on the illuminator on the d-ball uh, or the laser pointer and it's just bright just like in the pvs 14 you can see it clear as day right um and vice versa if you look if you turn on the illuminator on the arcan you're going to see that with like the pvs 14 vice versa so they're operating in that Oh, what is it? 840, 850 nanometers is the illuminator. They have two different heads. I think they got one in the 900 nanometers and one in the 800 nanometers for different applications. Um, but you're going to see that with most of your night observation devices, I would imagine. Okay. Um, another question he had here was, is it possible to remain stealthy while using IR device, maybe in a different frequency? So that's a question on how to use night vision in an actual, you know, that's how to employ that in that context. Ask a soldier how they do that nowadays. I'm pretty sure from what I know, the small amount, they, they don't just turn on their lasers and just walk around. In fact, if they accidentally hit one of their switches or their buttons to turn that stuff on on accident, they count that as a negligent discharge of a laser in which they are kicked out of their ranger unit if they do that like once or twice, like you're out of there. You are doing infinity push-ups. That's what I heard. So they treat it like very seriously. You don't just turn it on or, you know, like, so it's light discipline. It's just like the torch, like the surefire. We're just like, they're going to see your light and they're going to shoot out your light, Rex. I heard that from cops and everybody like, holy smokes. 
huge lack of training. You're just walking around in the in the woods in World War III with all your flashlights turned on. A whole squad of guys walking through the woods with their lights all turned on or their IR stuff turned on. No, 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 that's not how they use it. So can they remain stealthy? Yes, by not turning it on, by covering the thing in case it does get turned on, and by mounting their buttons in the right places so they don't accidentally hit it when they're walking or shooting even, right? Because like, oh, I accidentally I just really sent out a spotlight here. So that's like absolutely um, something that is, you can be stealthy by using the brain, right? But that's, go take a night vision class from someone who's qualified in that topic. Like, uh, who was it that was kind of a famous YouTube guy that did night vision classes? I think James hooked up with him a long time ago. What's his name? Oh, gosh darn it. He's the guy which is kind of like the, the Christian guy, the Bible guy. Poet, poet warrior? John Lovell, is that his name? John Lovell used to teach night vision classes. He would tell you how to not do all this stuff you're worried about, right? Yep. Because Army guys, I don't know if you guys know this, the United States Army, which is probably the most well-equipped military fighting force on the face of the earth, I would never want to get in a fight with the U.S. Army or the Marine Corps, um, they use infrared illumination, and they use the PBS-14s. They have illuminators on them. And they put, like, the lasers that are projecting, emitting light on the battlefield. They very rarely, as far as I know, in, like, a standard infantry unit, use thermal. Why? Multiple reasons why. Outside my scope lane and licensure here to go into. But from the kindergarten level, I do know, you need to identify what's behind the target. You need to identify the target itself. That's one of the reasons I like having a digital day and night scope is because I can see what's actually behind the target. Well, if Rex, if you, they're just shooting at a cardboard target and you can't even see, you know, if, it was a, if it was a real animal, it would be glowing bright. I know. I showed that. I showed that repeatedly in the review on the thermals, how cool that is. However, you don't still see the stuff that's behind it, see? What are the four firearm safety rules? You guys tell me this again. They even do the four firearm safety rules in World War III, you know. Especially in World War III, they do the four firearm safety rules. Know your target and what's beyond it. If you can't see what's behind your target, doesn't matter if you can see a perfectly clear view of a bright, shining target. If you don't know what's beyond it, you better be careful. So there are certain environments that make your thermal imaging device completely inadequate for determining, identifying your target, first of all, but seeing what's behind it. I know, because I use one almost every damn day for years on end. I have to memorize what's in my yard and memorize where the neighbor stuff is so that I never go on the wrong angle. Now the responsibility is on me to have it all mapped out in my head. Or use a light to check. I'll use that to identify stuff, but like, Okay, right there, I know I can't see it, but there's a big mound right there. Or that is 10 miles of absolutely nothing behind the target. I'm clear, because I won't don't see anything going on, right? You have to, like, it's even, it's used in, it's used in, especially in World War III. <laughs> okay, so that's a question for uh, how to employ those tools. And does the red glow of illuminators is bad because the unaided eye can see the red glow from quite a distance? Yes, when you turn it on. But the second you turn that on, you're not, you know, you're not just necessarily, they're going to, they have procedures in place for how they employ that stuff, okay? It's a training issue is what that would be. Um, what else is your question? Basically uh, asking about, you know, how to employ that kind of stuff. Because um, I, I mean, like, the armchair Rambos on YouTube with their comments on that stuff is just like, so you think they just turn that shit on and just walk around. Okay. Go play it. Go play Mario Kart or, you know, Rambo part seven on your PlayStation again. World of Warfare part six, where I'm literally a combat soldier. Okay, man. Um, where is Arkin made? So Arkin is a brand um, each model has different parts, I believe, made in different places. I think most of the rifle scopes 
are made in Asia, just like most other rifle scopes. By the way, even still, American legacy companies that say 100% assembled in America, those parts are mostly made in Asia. There are a few companies that use American-made parts like U.S. Optics, but even the glass still is not made in the United States. So if you guys get all emotional about, like, American-made, I understand. But there ain't no American-made optics, man. The glass you're looking through is usually Chinese or Japanese. Okay, so pick your poison. Which one do you want? Like, and again, getting emotional. Are you that emotional as you're typing emotionally on your freaking keyboard? All right, this, this one's made in one country that tried to kill us one time, and this one's made in a different country that tried to kill us a different time. So which one is the worst one? I don't know. Emo emoting over, like, do you emote when you put on your underwear? It was made in Vietnam. All our men died in Nam. I'm having flashbacks from putting on my underwear. Fruit and Loom is the enemy. Be consistent with your hatred. <laughs> Oh, my goodness gracious. I'll tell you something, right? Another question. You're comparing thermal to a night vision on a cold target, right? Good job, Rex. Yeah, I know. That's the comparison. I'm not... If I wanted to test between day-night scopes, then I would have a bunch of day-night scopes all there, and we'd see which one of them was better. But I didn't buy other day-night scopes because they're too expensive to get one that would work. So I got the cheap one that works. Use code Rex. <laughs> you guys are making my work too easy. Rex is just trying to sell stuff. I have these comments. I click on it. The guy's like, he's just very disingenuous. And he's not even talking about the, the other brand. That's And I click on the guy's thing. He has a storefront. He's literally, has a, he's a competitor. Ruthless capitalist. I can respect that. I can respect the ruthless capitalist. Entering into Mortal Kombat with Rex. But I have a different strategy myself. I just show you excellent stuff that I think is really good. And then if you don't like it, I don't care. Because I have multiple other flows of income. That's not my pet thing that I need to do, okay? Oh, what was another one here? Apples and oranges. Uh, and clickbait. Don't click on it. Why did you bite on the fishing hook? If that's the if that's really the case, why are you biting on fishing hooks then? Are you that dumb? Stop it. You guys just are funny, right? There are many of us that are adults, and we're just going to straight up use whatever works. And I don't get emotional when I pick up a screwdriver that's made in Taiwan. I don't get if I get political over a screwdriver made in Taiwan. That's on me. Period. Rex out. Just go right here, click to redeem your code, enter code R-E-X. Boom, apply. Oh, 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 oh. Holy moly, it went down $162.50. Now continue to check out. Can you say capitalism? Woo!